everyone we just came back from the shops and got some goodies i went to the chemist and got a numbing cream and alcohol wipes for my next injection which is in like two weeks and the loading when i got the loading dose it hurt so much so i'm gonna try the numbing cream and hopefully it'll make it a less painful um, I also went to Priceline and got myself a tinted lip balm by Burt's Bees so I used to really enjoy um, doing makeup before all this happened and I know it's too early on to put makeup on but I thought maybe a tinted lip balm is a good way to start and the brand Burt's Beads is a brand that uses natural ingredients no chemicals and stuff like that so I think it won't cause any irritations but I'll do a, um, a patch test first and then Put it on my lips if they don't if they're fine this is the color let's try the patch test here i don't know if i like the color it's a bit orangey okay we'll leave it on for a few hours and see oh and also i went to I went into a bookstore and this lady um, recommended me this book. Apparently it's really good and I love mystery fictions so um, she recommended this to me and she said she read it in three hours which is really fast and yeah I'm really excited to start on this. I'm also reading a Japanese novel right now so yeah, I'm going to have to juggle both of that. You show up at my door With some coffee and croissants Went to my favorite store Cause you could tell it's what I want I can't imagine more It's been a dream and for Okay, a few hours have gone by And there seems to be no problem So I'm going to try it on my lips I'm so excited it's been a whole year since I put any lip balm on my lips and also like any kind of makeup. I know this is a lip balm but it's tinted so I've been waiting to start wearing makeup and I think this is a good start. looks very pink I was expecting more of like a cool tone pink but it's pretty like corally pink I don't think it matches my skin tone but it is natural is it? we're headed to Jervis Bay I went to get some earrings from Lovisa this morning so that's what I'm trying to put on and you can see me struggling a little bit because um, I lost the back of the earring in the car but anyways we stopped by at a Vietnamese restaurant and had Vietnamese food and on our way to Jervis Bay we stopped by at a few op shops so you'll see what I got from there the drive was about two hours roughly so it was a good um, time to practice my driving skills I've been driving a little bit lately but not 100% confident yet so yeah I've been practicing
Hey guys, so we are back in Jervis Bay and as you guys saw, we stopped by at a few op shops. So we went to two and we got something from both of those um, op shops. So let me show you what we got. The first one is this grey shirt. I love these like vintage oversized t-shirts. So it was seven dollars had to get it and at the same place i also found this at the same place i got this it's so beautiful i love the pattern on here and it's made in japan so i'm pretty sure it's good quality i'm planning to put like earrings in here it's so pretty this was four dollars and as i was lining up um to buy these i found this little cute bag it's such a chic classy bag i instantly thought of myself wearing like a black silky dress like a slip-on dress and with it's gonna look so cute with this little bag and it was two dollars so i had to get it and it's it's like a magnet type bag and then at the next op shop we went to i found this i think it's a tablecloth but um i don't know if it's gonna fit our table like it's too small for our table so i'm thinking of using it as like a picnic rug it's got such cute flowers on them and the lace at the, on the edges. So I'm gonna give all of that a wash and use them. This was um, $8. Yeah, that's it. And I'm wearing the earrings I got this morning. I'm thinking of wearing the gold hoop on this side as well, because I really like these two together um and also you know how i tried the tinted lip balm i got from burt's beads the other day and the color just wasn't um complementing my skin it was too like too pinky like corally pink so i was looking for um a cool pink not a corally pink so that wasn't for me and it's really hard to find the right colors online and i was looking for another product and i found um a lip tint from mecca and it's oh my gosh let me open this first it's So this is what I got. It's called Dr. Lip. It's 100% natural, um, fragrance-free, and it's made out of only five ingredients, apparently. And this one is the color Elderberry, and it's like the blue-based um, pink, purpley pink, which I like, so I got it. smells really nice i can already smell it from the packaging that's such a small tube but this is like a multi-use tint and you can use it on your eyelids your cheeks and your lips it's clear why is it clear maybe the maybe it's like not mixed through oh there we go it's not clear. Should I try it on my lips? Oh, I like it. It's so cute. I like the color. 
it's really smooth it's very like sticky mm. I like it it's not too like dark and it matches well with like my natural skin color and my like my natural look without the makeup because sometimes you know when you like just put lipstick on and it's so dark that it kind of looks weird without makeup this is nice i'm happy it doesn't tingle or anything i recommend so yeah let's i'm gonna go wash all these clothes and the blanket I'm going back to Sydney today. I'm gonna drive back there in about half an hour. I'm just sitting by the beach, just soaking up everything here while I'm here. It's so peaceful. The clouds look amazing, and there's hardly anyone here. There's no, like there's like a guy fishing, and there's like two guys fishing. So yeah, it's so nice. Can you hear the sound of the waves? It's so calming. Down here, it's so much less busy and the time goes really slow, which I love. Like I was always a city girl and I didn't think I'd prefer this over the city like like I've always liked the city but since coming down here it's been so nice and I actually like this lifestyle I know I'm gonna miss it so much hey guys I got a packaging so let's open it together <clears throat> this tripod I've got a like massive one but I wanted a small one so that you know like when I film this I can just pop it on the table and not have to lean it somewhere because sometimes there isn't a good um, place to lean it it comes with this bag and the, oh God, the quality really nice it wasn't expensive at all it's got a battery inside so i think that means there's like bluetooth um like button for taking photos i don't want to break this how do i this open the box take out the bluetooth selfie stick to check whether the product is intact grasp the ends of the selfie stick and stretch to a height you need Ooh. nice press and control the remote control button two seconds to turn on all blinking Okay, it becomes a tripod. Okay, this is nice. I'm about to go to the city um, to do some shopping because my friend's birthday is coming up. And before that, my boyfriend's um, going to a meeting, but he's going to like the city, um, city direction as well. So we're gonna go um, we're gonna go a bit early and have coffee together first. 
I was like, I was doing some work and I didn't realize the time. So I'm like quickly getting ready. It's a bit cold today in Sydney. I'm just heading to the post office to send out a parcel before I go. It's such a nice day today. Through the waves come 